Hello friends, I have received one question from one of my friends that he wants to pray to God but the mantras uh, seem to be very uh, tough for him. Sanskrit mantras uh, not fully understandable, the meanings are not known. But people say that you, these are the mantras and you have to say it to please the God. His question is, cannot God understand in my own language in which I feel familiar with? Definitely. Definitely, when a British, when an American, when a Russian, when uh, an Italian is praying to God, in which language they are praying? They are praying in their own language, and which is very much uh, understood by God. God is helping them also. God is not only helping the Indians. God is for everyone, in whichever language, in whichever way, <coughs> even. Here are uh, so many gods. Lord Shiva is pleased in uh, bell, bell leaves, bell pata. Narayan or Vishnu is pleased in Tulsi pata. So you cannot. Uh, what a type. There is, there is no watertight compartment for God. The God is the world. God is the university. God has no limits. You can, don't <laughs> make yourself limited while you are praying, uh, praying to an unlimited. Be unlimited. To love the unlimited. You have to feel that it has got no bound. Why do we pray to God to overcome so many bindings around us, to overcome the bound? Definitely, uh, when we leave, <clears throat> we have to bind ourselves by a certain rules of disciplines, isn't it? Disciplines must be there. Srinkhal. Srinkhala. Srinkhal means chain. You are chaining yourself. You are binding yourself. You are limiting your activities up to a certain point. That is a sadhana. That is a practice. We practice the sadhana of limitations to reach the unlimited. So when we think of unlimited, our heart, our knowledge, our feelings are going to be, definitely going to be unlimited. There is no language actually, no language, just a feeling. If you love your loved ones, even if you don't speak, won't they understand? If you are angry with them, even if you don't speak, won't they understand? If you are frustrated with your fellow people and you don't speak, won't they understand? Everybody will. Everybody will understands even without one word. So when we understand without word, God understands too. Isn't it? It's the language of love. But, in spite of speaking all these things, I would uh, do injustice if I don't mention one thing. That is, there were certain special words Special Varna. Varna means color. 
color to beautify the words. Letters. Uh, I heard or read somewhere that all of our letters, Sanskrit letters, carry letters. Will you I re repeat? O, A, K, K. Each and every letter carry a very deep meaning. As for example, K means Akash. Which Akash? Akash, which is pervading the whole universe. That is Akash. Kha is also Akash, but it is the space uh, within the universe. Matlab, you think about your room. There is a space between the world and yourself. Isn't it? The Almira, the mm, dressing table, the table, the chairs. There, there are spaces uh, in between everything. Isn't it? This space is called Kha. And this space is also uh, above your head, which you call uh, normally call Akash. And that's why the parts are called Khechar, Matlab, Kha, Me Char Charti Hai Jo, Kha Me Charti Hai Jo, Who Hai Khechar. Khechar means Bards. Ga means Gaman, going. To see the similarity, Gaman, Go, Go, Go. So that is very beautiful. Ga. And if you uh, happen to be in the Ajanta, Ilora, Harappa, there are some uh, pictures uh, engraved in the caves which looks like this 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 is called go which looks like one leg in the uh, uh, land and another leg is about to move this is called go and there are so many hence there were a few special uh, akshar or letter with a definite varna which were used to invoke the celestial bodies or um, godly uh, spirits to this earth. I mentioned some of the words that is ring. Ring, cling, like these words. Uh, in Vedas, these were called Udgit. And there were specially trained persons who will utter uh, these mantras in the Yagyas to invoke spiritual, uh, what you call, <laughs> spiritual bodies. Th those were the times. The person must be very pure from inside. His heart should be very clean. Uh, and he should be exactly as a God. So only he can sing those words and uh, bring those uh, heavenly souls uh, down to the earth. But apart from that, if you want to reach the supreme knowledge, supreme existence, you have to believe that I am Him. To love a person, you have to be equal. You have to feel that I am equal. Otherwise, there is no friendship. There cannot be any friendship between the king and the servant. Occasionally it happens, but normally not. Two kings are friends. To, to have a friendship, a relationship with the king, 
you have to be king. Only a king understands the language of another king. Thank you for watching.